We all use video conferencing apps so much nowadays, be it for work, meetings, or even just casual gatherings with friends, where you can see each other and have a chat, and even more so when your friends are overseas and it's kind of hard to meet up. Usually these meetings last less than an hour, but sometimes they exceed the hour limit and most popular video conferencing apps like Google Meet, Microsoft Teams, or Zoom, they all have a time limit of 40 to 60 minutes for free accounts. In today's video, I will show you how you can extend your Google Meet time limit. On Google Meet free plans, you can host group meetings for up to 60 minutes. However, if you are on a one-on-one -on -one call, which means there's only yourself and another participant in the video call, you can have up to 24 hours for your meeting. This is especially useful for online teachers who use Google Meet to teach one-to-one -to -one classes. For example, if you are a tuition teacher or a music teacher who only teaches one student per class, Google Meet has almost no time restrictions on that. On a free account, all meeting attendees will receive an alert after 15 minutes, letting you know that the meeting is about to end. Once you hit the 60 minute mark, the meeting will automatically close. Well, with that said, the first way of course is to purchase a paid plan for your Google Meet account. Here's a brief overview of the pricing plans for the Google Workspace. The cheapest business starter plan costs 8 Singapore dollars a month, which is about 6 US dollars. Thereafter, you have the business standard and the business plus, all of which gives you up to 24 hours video conferencing time limit. The only key difference between these plans for Google Meet is the number of participants allowed on a meeting. However, if you do not want to pay to extend your Google Meet time limit, here are three workarounds you can do to get an extended time limit for free. Refresh the meeting before the time runs out. Technically, this method doesn't actually extend your Google time limit, but it does mean you can continue your conversation for longer without upgrading to a paid plan. There are a few ways to refresh your meeting. One option is to close the meeting yourself as the host at about the 50th to 55th minute mark. Google will inform you when you reach 50 minutes, so this should help. You can then relaunch the meeting using a different link. You need to open Google Meet again, click the new meeting button, and choose start an instant meeting. Then you can click the add others button to connect with other team members or share the meeting link with them so that they can enter the new meeting room. From my experience, this actually may not be such a bad thing bathroom breaks or a quick dash to get a hot tea or coffee and coming back refreshed are the advantages of this short break. Book multiple meetings in advance. The second workaround is actually very useful for work-related meetings. When you go to meet.google.com, you can schedule a meeting by clicking on new meeting. This means you'll be able to schedule multiple meetings in a row with slight breaks between each session. And it's always good to keep your meetings within an hour, which is perfect for the 60 minute time limit on free Google Meet plans. This might be a good way to break your meetings down into sections. For example, if you're having a long video training session with your team, you could schedule each meeting to focus on different topics or skills. You can set each meeting to a limit of 45 minutes, then they go for a quick five minute break and thereafter, the attendees adjourn to another meeting link with another agenda. You and your attendees can attend each meeting from a link or directly from their Google Calendar, which saves you a bit of time on the earlier refreshing method. This makes your different meeting links and breaks look more intended rather than having them find out because you were on a free Google Meet plan. Live stream the meeting. The third and last workaround is to live stream the meeting. This workaround is more for town halls or webinars where you are hosting a meeting where you want to share information with a lot of participants but don't necessarily need users to participate. A live stream can last up to 8 hours and there's even a chat box for participants during sessions. In the past, live streaming on Google Meet was available on the free plan but now they are only available on the paid plans. However, the option is to use YouTube, which is owned by Google. So live streaming your meeting on YouTube is a great way to reach out to 
watch-only participants with an option for people to ask questions via the chat box on YouTube. So there you have it. Three workarounds for extending your Google Meet time limit on the free plan or simply upgrade to a paid account for meetings up to 24 hours. However, with that said, if you don't want to upgrade to a paid version of Google Workspace, and the idea of refreshing your meeting, live streaming, or creating multiple sessions in advance doesn't appeal to you, the best strategy is better planning. Ultimately, most meetings don't need to last longer than 60 minutes in the first place, particularly if you have a well-structured agenda in place. Ensure you send any necessary documents and data to your attendees in advance so they can prepare. If there are any questions to be asked, these also should be prepared beforehand before entering the meeting. Alternatively, you could always consider whether you need a group meeting or whether you can host a few individual one-on-one -on -one sessions instead. If you learned something from today's video and enjoyed the video today, don't forget to subscribe and like for more future videos like this. Anyway, before I go, just a quick shout out. I've created new social media accounts dedicated to this channel on TikTok, Instagram, and X, Twitter. So do go ahead to give a follow as I will be posting short form content on them pretty soon. And thanks for the support. Until the next video, I'm Steph. Take care and bye bye.